Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 19 and episode 13. Uh, so, we uh, we played uh, the first two legs uh, right there. Uh, so, in the Par State semifinal, we drew 2-2. Uh, Taquez and Rojas with goals. Then we, we had a 2 nothing lead. We blew it in the last 15 minutes, including the tying goal uh, to Reynaldo in the 90th minute. And then we played CTB. They were actually favored. Uh, so even though they're second division, they were actually favored over us. Uh, we ended up winning 3-2. Uh, Pepe, Romulo, Frank, and Luis Pedro uh, with the goals. Uh, Pedro put us up three to one. Maroney got a goal back to make it close in the 86 minute. So we are back. We'll be playing REM at home. Uh, we did score two away goals. So that gives us a little bit of an advantage there potentially. And then, uh, we gave up two away goals to CTB, but we did get the win. So we're actually up one on aggregate. So we've got a little bit of breathing room, but uh, anyway, let's get to it. Uh, so we are uh, we are favored, breezy, 100 degrees. Wow. All right. Uh, Takez Pepe. Everybody's doing good. Actually, I would like... Torres. How about uh, let's put Hello Junior in there, and then Lorenzo Augusta. Augusto's been complaining again, and and I have been lax in slotting him in. Um. Lozano on the right side. I really don't want to make a ton of changes there. Uh, Tiberi. Gilmarez. Hmm. Tiberi. Romulo Frank. Uh, Pratel. Yeah, let's put Pertel in there. Rojas, Jefferson, and let's put Pepe up top. And uh, I want Mario George. Or Luis Pedro. I don't know which. I want to put Pedro in. Let's do that. Uh, now, I do want... Um, see, he's not playing either. Let's put Danilino in there. And then... Um, Tiberi, I want to rest him. So then we can put Alan Garcia. Then I can pull out Gamarez and I can put in Carlos Caesar. Actually, you know what? Let's put Carlos Caesar over there. Uh, yeah. He's 19. He's got better crossing. We'll go with that. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Junior needs a number. Give that man a number. It does not need to be a good number. Do this for the team. All right, 2-2 two, two on aggregate.
Robson. Oh, Pepe. Oh, he dinks the oh, he dinked the keeper and hit the upright. Oh no, how did he miss that? Oh, another one the keeper flicks away. Oh, now they're on a counter. Tackled. Nice. Get creative. All right, Louise is on a yellow. So if we finish draw, we win on away goals, as long as it's zero or one. Oh, I don't want it to come to that, right? Ugh. All right, Carlos Caesar loses it. All right, you're about to get benched. Taken away, Augusto, nice. Over the top. Redemption. Pertel. Danilo. Oh, Danilo choked. He held on to the ball too long. Oh, Jefferson would have scored that one. Oh, Jefferson would have scored that one. I have no doubt. Oh, man. Yes, that was disappointing. Watch your step. Uh, Danilo is stressed. I want to go ahead and sub him off right now. Why is he down to 70%? I, I have no idea. Um, I did not put... Fuck I did not put Jefferson back on the bench. We're going to put Pedro in for him. That was stupid. All right, there's Junior. Hello, Junior. All right, Caesar picks up his first yellow. Evangelista. Oh, nice tackle. They maintain possession. Come on, boys. Oh, he takes a touch. Nilo with the save. <sighs> All right. Um, Pepe. I'm going to drop. I'm going to drop Pepe back to the right, and then we're going to bring on uh, Taquez. Let's do that. Ooh, I was worried about that set piece. Get creative. Come on, boys. I feel, oh, he went for the tackle. Look at the space. Uh, deflected. Uh, Luis Pedro, he's got some space. We're on the attack. He's got runners. Oh, Pepe out wide. Oh, nice. Pedro, there it is, his second of the season. Pepe, oh, that's a huge goal. That gives us the 3-2 aggregate and the two away goals. That's huge. Huge goal. Yes, that was a huge goal. You agree, don't you? What are you doing back there? That's time waste. Probably should have pulled this guy off earlier. Uh, let's bring Romulo up uh, there. Luciano Henrique. All right, hello, Junior. Lumps it into the box. Pedro controls.
Over to uh, Rojas. Back to Pepe. Fratell. No, no, no. Oh, look, he's got runners everywhere. Look on that right wing. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. How many times have we seen that in FM19? A beautiful tackle, and it goes right to an attacker in an onside position. Fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to away goals? Away goals don't count in this? Oh, yay. Oh, yay, yay. Even Takez is not very good at penalties here. Um... Yeah, auto pick. I, I don't. Oh, actually, you know what? All right, Takez. Right to him? Are you shitting me? Our best penalty taker, chest high, right into his hands. Uh, at this point, I don't even care. Whatever. Fuck you guys. That was a nice shot. We don't give up a goal the entire group stage. And we're going to go to penalties when we won on away goals? Uh, that was right to my keeper. How did he not save it? Huh? Huh? All right. You're going to have to save one here, pal. Takez, you sack of shit. Come on. Oh, you're not even diving the right freaking direction. Hello? All right, Pertel keeps us alive. You got to save this one, man. You've got to save this one. All right, so now we have to score this one. Lozano, our left back. <laughs> yeah, that's who I expect to be coming to shoot a penalty. All right, I mean, it's in, but if Nelio can't stop this... It's over. Edmundo. <laughs> it was in the net before he dove. That's bullshit. We had two away goals. Why did that not count? That's bullshit. That's got to be the only country in the world that away goals don't matter. Yeah, unacceptable. Unacceptable. Games won, goal difference, goals scored, results between team. There's nothing semifinal. How do you not... How do away goals not count? 
God damn it. And Takez. What the shit was that? Not happy. Not freaking happy. All right. I, I don't even want to play a playoff, dude. All right, we'll be back for uh, the CTB match for the fourth round of the Brazilian Cup. And I don't really give a damn about third place in the Paris State at this point because that's not going to keep my board happy. We'll see you guys for the next episode. All right, we are back. Boy, I am still pissed off about that match. Oh, that's just brutal. So, true story. Story time with, with, with RC. Um, the first year I ever played football, uh, soccer here in the States, of course, uh, I was eight years old and my dad was in the military. We had just moved to a new city, a new state. And we, well, I take that back. We had been there a couple of years, but I was just at the age that I could play in the youth recreational soccer leagues. And uh, so my dad went in to register me and they said, oh, well, registration's already happened. Teams are already full. Um, we do have a waiting list of players, of kids that want to play. Um, and, you know, if you'll coach the team, you know, we'll put your son on that one and, and give you the, you know, the kids that are on the waiting list. So my dad, bless him, and I love him very much. Uh, he did that. He coached the team, and uh, he had never coached before. And uh, that was the start of a long career in uh, youth sports for him, Little League and everything else. Um, so first year, first year coach, first year players, all these, you know, reject kids that, that you know, weren't on any of the other teams. Uh, we end up winning our league and going to the state playoffs. And we go through the quarterfinals and the semifinals, and we make it to the state championship. And uh, we finished regulation at a draw, went through two extra periods, draw, a round of five penalty shootout, draw, second round of five penalty shootout, and we ended up losing by one goal on double penalties. And, you know, you know, how, you know, if you've never been in the military, people are always moving. The longest I lived anywhere while dad was in the service was 18 months. That was an average, 18, 16 to 18 months. I lived one place for almost six years. Other than that, you know, so there were some places I was like there for a few months, you know, and it was like move in. We basically unpack and then, hey, pack up. We're moving again. Um, and that's just life in the military. So it was no big deal to me. But uh, a few years went by and uh, my dad was staying in touch with some of the guys that he knew from uh, from his squadron. And our goalkeeper from that first year was his dad so my dad reached out to his dad and said hey how's and i think his name was brian i don't remember his last name pretty sure his name was brian this was a long time ago and uh his dad said that his son was so traumatized and upset by losing that game for us which he didn't lose the game i mean you know it was you know, it was just what it was. I mean, you know, double overtime, double shootout. Uh, but he never played again. And uh, I always felt so bad for him. And uh, so, Brian, if you're out there, if somehow you see this, this was in Las Vegas, Nevada, 1977. We were the Jets. Um, dude, you did a great job. And uh, I, hope, I hope you've gotten over that. Uh, but... You could see I'm a little emotional even talking about it. That was a huge, impactful moment on my young life that has stuck with me as a learning experience on, you know, how to cope with losing. Um, 
you know, how to, how to go through uh, a, a crisis period in your life. Um, you know, and, and, you know, so all these guys that, you know, these days that everybody gets trophies, um, you know, I think, I think those people miss out on, uh, some very important life lessons, but, uh, you know, Brian, if you're out there, buddy, uh, you did a great job. And, uh, if you do see this, say hi in the comments. I would love to, love to hear from you, but, uh. Oh shit. Oh, that's us. Yes, we're in the blue. I was I don't know why I was thinking we were in the green. All right. So we were up 3-2 on aggregate and uh now we've gotten one of the two away goals, which is great. Oh, Romulo. Oh, that's the replay. I was like, "Damn, is he scoring again? Shit." Um, huge goal. Yes. All right. No. And I got to get back focus. Focus. Uh flicked on header. Oh my God! The oh, what a save by Nelio! I don't know why he did not come out to play that ball. He looked a little skittish there, didn't he? All right, there you go. Sure hands, sure hand, Nelio. All right, that's all right. They're they're controlling the match a little bit. That early goal is going to help us immensely. Watch those heavy touches, boys. Like that one, Miguel. Oh, look, he blows into the box and gets taken down. Oh, and Taquez, bless his heart, he's going to step up and take the penalty. I don't even want to watch. He put it right down the fucking middle again. I mean, it scored, but Jesus, man. What was that? Prove a point? I can put it down the middle and score? Oh, my God. And, and you know, again, like a lot of guys, I don't set my penalty taking. I, I let the players decide who's going to do that. Columbari. Tabury heads it down to the dude. Oh, the dude, his seventh of the season. What a shot. Curls it in at the post, beats it past the keeper. That's huge. 3 0. That should. Oh, Hulk. Hulk smash. Oh, that was powerful. He might have broke the upright there, broke the woodwork. One clear cut chance for each team. All right. Dion Miguel, Pepe, Romulo Frank chases it down, squares over to Columbari, Jefferson, the dude, the dude has been a good signing this year, all right, Columbari, Romulo Frank, oh, he thought about it there, buddy, Pepe, oh, he just, Eases it past the keeper, far post, his ninth of the season. Let's go ahead and drop down to balanced. And we will do a little bit of time wasting. Confirm that out. Don't want to change immensely, but, you know, we can save our legs a little bit. Oh, nice little header. Uh, Dion Miguel with the overlap. Uh, can't get it past his defender. Dropping back on defense. Uh, lumped over. Segovia beats our defender. His third goal of the season. Ah! Still, 7-3 to on aggregate. They're going to need four more goals. And even then, we've got four away, unless this doesn't go to away goals, which, again, I should have learned my lesson on that last match, right? All right. Come on, boys. 
Well, as they say in the UFC, don't put it in the hands of the judges. Don't leave it to penalty kicks. Just win it on the field. Uh, yes, appreciate the efforts. It's funny the morale's not going up very much. As much as we're winning... I think I'm going to do two early subs here. Yeah, let's do this one here. Um, Dion Miguel. I want to play some guys that maybe haven't played quite as much. Alan Garcia. Yeah, but Miguel's over there. Um, Tita. We could put Tita on the left side. Let's do that. Um, Tiberi, let's rest, dude. Gomarez, let's do that. Gomarez is a more regular player. Oh my god, what happened there? Is there a foul? I don't know. Not sure what that was all about. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a risk here. <sighs> Raul Michael. No. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Let's give him some time up top. There we go. All right, boys, let's just see this one out. Dion Miguel, Pepe, Gilmarez, lays it off. Oh, Pepe! Bank shot off the defender. Deflection. It was should have probably been an own goal, but it might have been going in. His 10th of the season. Oh my God, can we get another one here? Jesus. Tiburi, get in there, son. Number six. Six for him, six for the team, nine to three on aggregate. And we are advancing in the Brazilian Cup, boys. This has been a fun match, all things considered. Romulo Frank, Tiburi. Oh, he tried to sneak it through. He he had a guy open on the left side. Jefferson has a runner up there. Oh, he holds it up. Finds Tita. Oh, Tita plays it right back. Now we're out of position. Counters on. Maroney. Far cross. And the volley by Ignacio. His second on the season. That's all right. Wasn't not happy with it, but come on. Calm, confident. Let's give him some praise. Well, this guy almost fell down. Dion Miguel. Oh, uh, he missed the cross over there to Jefferson. Yep. Come on, boys. Let's just bring this one home. There we go. What a match. That's an unusual one. Six goals. Passionate. Very happy. There goes the morale. All right. So let's go first leg. Oh, well, I don't think the first leg triumph was really needed. All right, we advance to the fifth round. We get a half a million. Pepe with two goals. Nice. And I think I'm going to start moving Pepe up into that, uh, that striker role. 
Because he scored a lot when Taquez was out on uh, injured. All right, so a record for goals in a match. Previous was a seven-goal outing. This one was eight. And we should have the quarter and semifinals today. Well, I've offered you both out, fellas. And Henrique. Loan offer. Brazilian Cup. I have an issue here when they when they do the uh oh I wonder if I have to change it myself. All right, so this is the fifth round. Uh, okay, so we draw CHA. Didn't we just play them? No. CHA. Oh, they're in first division with us. Okay, so that'll be that'll be a little tough. All right. Fortaleza. And CEC. CEC is our... That's our uh, parent club, aren't they? Not parent club, but uh, affiliate. Aren't we affiliated with them? Okay. Fifth round and quarterfinal. Okay. So we will play either Rim or Fortaleza. Both are second division. That'll be good for us. All right. And the semifinal. Whatever. I don't know why they draw out so far. All right, CHA, we're going to be the home team. Our homegrown players. All right, so what does this do with our scheduling? Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and skip Paris State. I'm going to go ahead and get into the first division, and I think let's come back and do a double with CHA. This is my thinking. And we were going to do a double either for the cup, but we can since we play them three times in a freaking row. Let's play. Let's get our first first division match on camera. Oh, I'd like to do Santos. We will definitely do Santos. Um, well, yep, there they are. All right, so we'll definitely do Santos the second second time around. But I want to go ahead and let's come back at the beginning of June. That gets us uh, a whole month. We'll get behind us, and uh, we'll jump into first division. We'll see how we're doing in the early matches. We'll play uh, our first match on camera, and then we'll play the second leg of the fifth round cup, the away leg. Hopefully, we do well at home and see if we advance. So, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Also, a quick shout-out to... Um, Mirror Warrior, uh, he subscribed about a half hour ago to the channel, so welcome to the channel, and uh, hey guys, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.